Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the error 0x800703f1 on Windows 10 and Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to roll back the malfunctioning drivers. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to locate the problematic devices, right-click on the problematic device and select the Properties option. Now in here, head over to the driver tab and what you can do in here is simply click on the rollback driver. In this case, if the device fails after updating the driver, just roll back to the previously installed driver and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also use the SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience, just relax, wait until it's finished, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button and click on Settings. Now in here click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and it will fix them as soon as possible. And you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to restart all the Windows Update components. Now in order to do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And in here, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below. Note that the list is a bit big, so be patient about it. Copy paste every command, press on enter, and afterwards when you're finished, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Alternatively, you can also restart the Windows Update service. To do this, press the Windows button, type in Services, then select it from the search results as an application. And in here, scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, right-click on it and select the Restart option. Otherwise, you can also click the Properties option and in here, make sure that the startup type is set to automatic. Then if the service status is set to stopped, make sure to click on the start button, then click on apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.